Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Predator Helios 18, PH1872. If you want to open this huge, powerful device, you have to unscrew 14 Torx head screws. Then, lift the backside by carefully raising it while holding tightly the two plastic exhausts. Don't apply too much force because you can break the plate close to the Ethernet connector. Just use a thin plastic tool to pop the left, the bottom, and the areas around the LAN port. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The battery isn't secured to the chassis with screws, because there is a dedicated socket for it on the inside of the bottom panel that keeps the unit in place. The battery is a 90 watt hour model. To remove it, unplug the connector from the motherboard and lift it away from the base. The capacity is enough for 4 hours and 46 minutes of web browsing or 4 hours and 33 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the Balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Balanced and Optimus modes in the Acer NitroSense app. You get two SODIMs that fit up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz memory in dual channel mode. There is a dedicated thermal pad for each RAM module. In terms of storage, you can rely on two M.2 slots for 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. Our machine has a duo of 1TB NVMe drives that operate in RAID 0 mode. The benchmark results are very good. The sizable cooling has two Aeroblade 3D fans. It also sports a pair of heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU. We can see an additional pipe for the processor and two more solely dedicated to the graphics card. The system is also complemented by four heat sinks and two huge metal plates. Acer has pre-applied liquid metal on the CPU chip. The cooling system here boasts rectangular vector heat pipes with wider contact surfaces for better heat transfer.